Beloved in Christ, it's Pastor Jim from Zion Lutheran Church in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And uh, today I want to bring you a little scripture from Ephesians. The sixth chapter, the 18th verse, Jesus, where, where Paul says, Pray in the Spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all of God's holy people. Did you hear that? Pray all times and on every occasion, and uh, stay alert and be persistent in your prayers. I don't know about you, but that's always a challenge, I think. We get so busy, and even when we've been staying at home, it's been maybe difficult to pray. You know, when Jesus' disciples asked him how to pray, he taught them the Lord's Prayer. And one of the prayers that I've been using, uh, or an app that I've been using to help me pray every day, and uh, I've been trying to follow the order of morning, noon, and night, but it breaks up the Lord's Prayer. And I wanted to, to share that with you tonight. It's kind of like Luther's Catechism when you ask, uh, you know, the first petition, uh, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, what does this mean? Well, this is kind of like that, but it's abbreviated. And so I want to share it with you and what that might mean for us. When you pray, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thank God for who God is and all of God's faithfulness for all of the people of this world. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Pray for God's rule and reign to become a reality in this world and in our lives. Give us this day our daily bread. Pray for God's daily provision in our life. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Confess your sins to the Lord and forgive people who have wronged you. Lead us not into temptation. Ask God to guide you in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Deliver us from evil. Pray for God's protection against any of the strategies of Satan. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, I pray that maybe as you pray that simple prayer, you'll be reminding of yourselves of, of what that means for us to be persistent in our prayers in all times and on every occasion, praying in the Spirit. Well, my brothers and sisters, siblings in Christ, it is a beautiful day today, and I give thanks for you, for your prayers and for all the ways in which you have touched others around you, for your faithfulness. I have heard about all that you are doing, and I include you in my prayers of thanksgiving. And I pray for all of those who might be struggling, especially in this time. Maybe if you don't know what to pray, maybe you can pray simply the Lord's Prayer. And remember, that the Spirit prays for us when we don't know what words to use and is praying for us at all times. Take that comfort as you wind your day down or maybe beginning it. May we pray and be persistent at all times and at all occasions for all of God's holy people. God's blessings, my friends. Bye-bye.